Hi everyone. I haven't done a video forever and <clears throat> I've got my my homemade journal here. Oops. And now it's decided not to hold on. So um, I'm going to do an art journal page today. And I'm going to use this um, this spackle. It goes on pink but it dries white when it's um, time to sand and paint, but we're not going to sand. We will paint. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've ever even used Oh, I must have used this. This is crazy. Oh, yes. It has been a while. Ooh. Um, I just need to find my... Oh. It stinks. Funky. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for my spatula. Hello. Where are you? Oh yeah. Here they are. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to kind of mix this a little, mix this up, <clears throat> mix this up a little bit, because it's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not putting it on my pages. So I'm going to move this off to the side. What I did is I took a couple of pieces of muslin and I'm going to put it on that. I'm just wondering if I shouldn't have my craft mat out here. This is a, you can tell I haven't done videos for a while because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Feels nice to be back though. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm going to put some of this stuff on here. <laughs> like it does go on pink. This is actually for ceilings because it's hard to see um, white ceilings when you put white stuff on. So that's what this is really for. It's not drywall compound. This is what they call spackle. So I'm gonna put some of this on here. I'm getting, I'm getting the strings and all. So, just a little more down this side here. Okay. Pull that over there. And get some more on here. I just want to see what this does. <laughs> I know people have used spackle, you know, on canvas in their art journals before, and I think I want to try doing something with spackle um, using um, some stencils. So, you've probably all been wondering what's going on. Well, I've been to Vancouver. Not because my brother-in-law passed away. Okay. I went to Vancouver to see him. And he's still hanging on. So, who knows? He's got, he does not have cancer. Even though he, he's back on chemo. Uh, they asked him if he wanted to try it again. He said, yep, he's all for it. Um, so he's back on chemo. He has what you call, I've never heard of it, amyloid disease, A-M-Y-L-O-I-D. And I don't know how to explain it other than the amyloids, if they mutated his, him somehow, they muted, mutated some cells and they now attach themselves to um, organs of, of the body. So his liver has been affected um, kidneys, his heart, and his larynx, or no, um, the esophagus. So, hmm, yeah, that's kind of where it's at. So I'm not sure how long he has. None of us really know that, and maybe that's a good thing. So I'm doing art. I need to release <laughs> some 
some stress. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up, let this dry, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is like it's not a hundred percent dry, but I can't wait. I, I have to go for it because I'm impatient. So <clears throat> I'm gonna bring my book back and I think I'm going to use matte gel because this is pretty thick stuff. So I'm just going to get some on my page. I don't have a lot of it, so hopefully I have enough. I should, I think. I just want to get it glued in. And we're going to end up drying again. So you can tell it's not dry because it's not all white. But I'm going to kind of push that in. And the stuff likes to, you know, kind of flake off, but we're going to fix that in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the other side now. dimensions. I know my mat, me, mat uh, are these, um, these pieces are a little bit smaller than my page, so, which is okay. It's good. It's all good. So I'm just going to smoosh this in. trying to keep my cover nice because I haven't done it yet. I haven't finished my cover for this journal. Just because I tend to... Okay, so I have two more pieces done. That's to go on these little bits here. So I'm going to get one on here. A lot of ideas running through my head. I haven't done any art for so long. It feels like years. <laughs> and I've forgotten, really, it's true. Like if you don't use it, you lose it. It's true. You forget a lot of the techniques you've taught yourself throughout your time. But they do come back. They do. Um, not right away, though. No, at least not for me. So... It's almost like learning things again when you've been away from it for so long, and I have. <coughs> so I really need to dry this now because I want to cover it with stuff after, and uh, it really needs to be dry. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let it dry, and I'll be right back. Okay. It's still not dry, but I went through some of my collages that I've given you guys for download, and I found this, this little quote that says, Look inside and you might see the person you were meant to be. I like that. So, I am going to use it. I think I'll use this matte gel again. Pretty bumpy. Hopefully it goes on without smearing. 
<laughs> oh yes, I think I printed this on my on my laser printer, so we should be good. And I wish that I would have put that on a little straighter, but <laughs> it's too late now. Okay, so I'm going to quickly dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, it's not 100% dry, but I want to get some, um, some gesso and put it over top because I, I don't want this stuff flaking off. So if I add a little gesso, I'm just going to put it out here on my palette paper because I don't know exactly how much I need and I don't want to overdo it. So I just want to make sure that I'm sealing this up <clears throat> because these will flake. Um, this spackle, it will flake off. So, and I don't want, I don't want that happening in my journal, but it's left lots of texture and I love it. Love it. Oh, I guess I needed more than that, so <laughs> that's all right though. I'm just having fun today. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. <clears throat> it feels good. It just feels good. And, oops. Okay. Yeah. I think I need to just slap it on, really. It's taking long. Sorry, guys. I just wanted you to see my process. A lot of times when I do um, speed process videos, some people don't like that, but sometimes it can't be helped. If it's, if it's long, I may have to do that even with this one, so I'm sorry if I have to, but I do. Um, I don't want to bore you all either, <laughs> you know. I mean, everyone knows how to how to put gesso over stuff, like really. I should have just done this off camera, and I might. I just might. I might speed through this part, maybe. probably wondering what I put my gesso in. It's a, a dish soap container and it works great but it's hard to put in there. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> you need a, um, you need a funnel but even then it doesn't want to it doesn't want to work right. It just piles up in the funnel so yeah it's kind of a pain to put in but once you fill the, the jar up, or the jug up, it's great. So, oh, I'm loving, I'm loving the texture on this. Oh, it's just making me happy. Come on. Okay. See, I did get some where I don't want it, and I need a baby wipe to wipe that. Yeah, that's good enough. I think I'll I'll take this and just kind of put that on there like that, just so that it doesn't touch. So I'm going to dry it and I'll be back.
Okay, so I came back. I drew a girl on some book text and used my uh, ink tense blocks, painted her in, and now I'm going to glue her on this side of the page. Just not sure exactly where. Probably right there. <laughs> and I just thought I'd point out uh, I was telling you how stressed I was before I started. There's a word in there. Unstressed. <laughs> I can't believe it's there. Unstressed. I am unstressed. It's amazing. <clears throat> it's amazing what art will do. So, I'm just going to get brush and some some glue. Hopefully all this isn't gonna peel. <laughs> I've just had my share of that today. Um, I'll put her right there. Smooth her down as best I can. Oh, 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 oh. Just about ripped her. Oh, yoy. Okay. <clears throat> So now, as far as I know, I think she's done. So, before it looked unfinished, now it looks a little more finished. I think she's done. I dated it November 1st. I'm saying it's done. Scooch it a little bit for you. Inside, and you might see the person you were meant to be. Unstressed. Love it. <laughs> see you in the next video.